The former coach of Ricky Kahira proves that it is possible to teach Ultra C, not only in the crystal. The suspension of Russian athletes from international competitions was supposed to deal a big blow to world figure skating. However, no matter how sad it may be to admit, so far there has been no sharp regression. Singles continue to twist multi-turn jumps and win medals, and the best skaters from the same group cope with this. The place of the trendsetter in single skating was taken by the former coach of Ricky Kahira, Mio Hamada, who brought up a whole generation of talented figure skaters. It is she who will try to destroy Tutbridge's hegemony in women's single skating, proving that it is possible to win outside the crystal. The start of the Junior Grand Prix series, even in the absence of the Russians, came out bright and eventful. In many ways, this was facilitated by the brilliant performances of the representatives of the Japanese women's figure skating team, who won both stages. In the Czech Republic, young Mao Shimada was able to climb to the top of the podium. The 13-year-old athlete coped with the excitement and gave out two wonderful rentals. In the short program, the figure skater presented a spectacular production to the soundtrack from the movie The Lion King and impressed the audience with a confident performance of the elements. The judges liked not only the high flying jumps, but also the high speed rotations, complex paths of steps, the Japanese woman has an excellent skate. Precocious artistry may become Mao's main weapon in the future, but it is obvious that she is betting not only on this. In the free program, Shimada demonstrated that the technical superiority of Russian singles can be leveled over time. In any case, the figure skaters from Japan will try very hard to do it. Mao successfully landed a triple axel and went for a quadruple sheepskin coat, but fell. Nevertheless, this is a very serious application from a young athlete who is able to combine ultra C and beautiful skating in the best traditions of Kamila Voliva and Sofia Akativa. Mao challenges the Russians in absentia in the fight for leadership at the junior level. Shimada's success cannot be called accidental. In Japan, apparently, they seriously set out to prepare worthy competitors for our singles. Hana Yoshida, who took gold at the stage in France, will also help Mao raise the authority of domestic figure skating. Returning to the competition after a year of downtime, in the Olympic season, the junior national team of Japan did not participate in the Grand Prix, Hana finally showed why she is considered one of the main hopes of her country. In the short program, the figure skater made a couple of offensive half-turns, but in the free program she attempted a triple axel, she twisted 3.5 turns, but a small step out smeared the impression of the element. Despite the blemishes, the points received for high-quality emotional rental were enough for Hana to bypass her classmate Ayumi Shibayama, who does not yet own Ultra C. In this case, it's only a matter of time, because Ayumi is studying with the famous coach Miyo Hamada, who knows how to put a triple axel to her students. It is her group that is now gaining unprecedented power, subtly hinting that Tutbridge's hegemony in women's single skating cannot last forever. Once Hamada had already brought up a formidable opponent for our skaters, and only a stream of injuries prevented Rika Kahira from achieving what she wanted. Now the mentor has a whole generation of talented and hungry singles winners growing up. And the first results are obvious, Mao Shimada and Hana Yoshida left the first stages of the Grand Prix with gold medals, Ayumi Shibayami got silver, and Akura Kishida, bronze. Itari Jurjivna needs to be very careful. A clan of strong figure skaters is being formed abroad, who, in addition, will have a huge advantage over Russian women in the form of extensive experience of performing at prestigious competitions. The suspension of Russian athletes from international competitions will definitely play into the hands of many foreign federations, but the Japanese will receive the greatest benefit from this. So far, their positions on the world stage seem unshakable. Single Kaori Sakamoto won the world championship even without Ultra C in the men's category, and after the departure of Yuzuru Hanyu, there are contenders for victory. Yun Kajiyam is preparing the role of the leader of the new Olympic cycle. Riku Miura is also getting to the top Ryuchi Kahara. The dominance of Japanese figure skaters in the absence of Russian women is likely to grow. Athletes will gain invaluable experience at major competitions, enlist the support of referees, 
which will instantly increase the second grade, which does not suffer from them anyway, and also show that Ultra C can be taught, not only from Tutbirds. Considering that abroad they only dream of ending Russia's dominance in figure skating, this will be a decisive factor. The Japanese will create all the conditions to achieve this, which means that upon returning from the ban, our skaters will have a very difficult time.